Yes. I mean, that, that, that was, a you know, during the whole media session, I mean, Tim, the, Tim Pernetti, who got the job, I think he, he was awarded the job in April of this past year, but he finally came on full time, if I'm not mistaken, what did we say, in June? June he, 1st. He finally, June 1st. And he has hit, to me, he has hit the ground running, man. He, he, yeah. uh, and, and the thing about it, he can't, he's the president of a hundred, hundred million dollar investment company, IMG. So, uh, you, you, you are bringing, the, I think nobody's, nobody's fooling each other anymore. It, I mean, obviously it was talk, it was talk about NIL and what they need to do to stay competitive, but these, Mr. these Moore, it's, yes, sir. It's interesting you touch on that about IMG and private money, et cetera, et cetera. Here's some, here's a quote from Commissioner Pernetti regarding private capital slash private equity. First things first. People have been talking a lot about private equity or private capital, me included. This is Commissioner Tim Pernetti. Wanting to be involved in our space. And do you know why? PE, that's private equity, loves business opportunities with massive and growing affinity and tremendous upside potential that have been historically slow to adapt. Whether it's a private capital group, a creative corporate partner looking to break new ground, they see what we know. And here is a money shot, borrowing from my colleague Greg Flugar. Money shot from a peek around the corner. College athletics has failed to modernize the enterprise until it was faced with a crisis. One more time. College athletics has failed to modernize the enterprise until it was faced with a crisis. But they also see that it is overflowing with committed leadership who is mission driven. He continues, having experience in the private sector and on campus, I understand how to evaluate and build businesses. And I can tell you that innovation starts with collaboration, choosing the right partners, and having a cultural fit and alignment. It's not just about dollars. But today, let's not lament the state of college athletics. Instead, let's look through the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I mean, if college athletics is in such bad shape, do you really think we would be experiencing such accelerated growth and outside entities would want to invest in us? More from Tim Pernetti. The fact is, it's an enterprise worth investing in. The intangibles are unmatched. It fuels passion, loyalty, celebrates resilience builds character, and most importantly, provides educational opportunities. Despite the unknowns at the American, we are going to jump the curve. We are going to invest in new relationships and strategic partnerships and build value for our member institutions. Nothing's off the table. It can't be for us. We will continue to cast the net wide and meet with prospective commercial and investment partners. Conference naming rights, jersey patches with revenue flowing directly to student athletes, private capital. We will continue to explore the possible. It's important to say a non-negotiable byproduct for us is that each new relationship must deliver new experience and resource enhan enhancements that our student athletes deserve, end quote. Your thoughts on those words from AAC Commissioner, the second commissioner in the history of the American Athletic Conference, Mr. Tim Pernetti. My, the, 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 the one line in his, in his opening statement, in his opening speech, was that we're looking through the, we're not looking in the rear view mirror. We're looking through the, through the fall. We're looking through the windshield. Yeah, through the windshield. Yeah, we're looking through the windshield and not looking through the rear view mirror. And, it, you know, it's ironic. I sort of had my head, down. I mean, we were up front. And, you know, I was sitting there sort of taking jotting little notes down as he, but when he said that, I sort of dropped my pen and looked up at him and went like, 
Mm-hmm. You know that he that caught my attention, yeah. and you know, and I and I sort of I think I wrote I wrote that wrote that comment down and just put quotation marks around it when he said that because uh, and it's going to be interesting and and that's why I, that's why I find his selection and what he what what he's aiming to do and what the conference what he's aiming to do and the direction where the conference or at least where I think the conference wants to go. And with him coming from IMG, I think it's probably might is going to be an ideal fit, Chris, from a commissioner standpoint. I mean, to me, I think the American Athletic Conference did some thinking outside the box by bringing him in. Yes, agreed. And if you are new to me, new to the Houston Round Ball Review, thank you for watching the show. Whether you're watching it on Facebook or YouTube or Fire TV, Twitch. Roku via the BS3 network. The Houston Round Ball Review. Yes, I am a proud alum of the University of Houston, but I cover H Town sports. We cover sports, H Town teams. AD Moore covers the Texans and the NFL. So it's not just Houston Cougars talk. We're going to talk Texans. We're going to talk Rice Isles. We're going to talk TSU. We're going to talk Prairie View. We're going to talk on this show and our other shows, live stream shows on YouTube. We're kind of like how sports radio used to be okay we're going to discuss a lot of different things and we're not just the flagship station and to focus on one team because you're not we're not no one's paying us yet to be that so we're going to touch on different topics that pertain to this schools and teams in and around h-town furthermore yes, as sir. i wrap it up with you remind everybody where you're going to be in a few days sir in a few days, August 1, I will be heading to Canton, Ohio. Catch a, I got a flight heading to Cleveland, get a little get a little nice rental car, and I'm going to be heading down to Canton, Ohio. My first time being in Canton, I will be covering the game that night. I will be all the activities, and I will there will probably be a short uh, post-game show and don't look for no a lot of deep. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna be a lot of details. I'm not probably not gonna spend if I spend 12 minutes, you know, it's basically gonna say, hey, we hear some quick highlights and uh what we expect to see, what we don't expect to see, because this will be the Texans' first game. They've only been in pads the uh, two days. The set yesterday was their second day. They had an off day today, they go back to pads tomorrow. They got uh Saturday, they got uh, Friday, Saturday, they off Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, then they travel Wednesday. So, you know, it, it's going to be. Uh, I'm looking. I am extremely excited. I'm. I'm looking forward to being in Canton, my first time to the to the uh, Mount Olympus of, of uh, professional football as we know it, American it, style. Yeah. Let everybody know. Yeah. Hall of Fame, NFL this, Hall of Fame. That's it, where it you're is going. The yeah. NFL Hall of Fame. The Houston Texans first enshrinee, Andre Johnson, will be inducted. And and so I'm not. I'm looking. I'm excited. Very. I'm looking forward to being able to chronicle that historical event as far as the Houston, Texas, the city of Houston is concerned. And uh, I'm like I said. I'm gonna be busy. I'm gonna be putting a lot of stuff out on X, Instagram, YouTube, and YouTube Shorts. So just and be be on the lookout for it. That's one one thing. You were at Texans practice Wednesday. You don't have you don't have to say who was involved. But shocking, shocking, shocking. There was a skirmish. There was a fight. Oh, no. The world's coming to an end. Isn't that right, sir? Um, <laughs> I didn't, it was no big deal to me, Chris. I'm going, I mean, some, some of my colleagues were, 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 were apoplectic about, about it. And, I mean, that was a scene. That was a tough scene as this, as this skirmish broke up and it continued. But even that, I was sort of going like, yeah, okay, this is the second day in pads. Because, you know, we were so, everybody was sort of remarking that, you know, their second day in pads. And, you know, they might have, you know, because some of them was talking about how some of them looked kind of heavy, how they were sort of looking a little bit slowed down in, in their tracks and so forth. So I basically just think it's just a deal of, you yeah, pads the second day, man. Come on, you've been out there in, in a helmet with t shirts and shorts on, and all of a sudden you got, 35, 40 pounds of equipment on, and it's but it was cool. It wasn't hadn't gotten hot because that was a comment I had with Shaq Mason. I talked to him a little bit, you know, after practice. And his comment was, you know, last year when he got here, 
he said, man, it was hot as, you know, he didn't know if he was going to make it last year. But th this year, you know, and uh, practices have been overcast and and very calm and cool. So, and but but D'Amico Ryan's told him, don't get used to this, though. Yeah. Last thing for you. This is from Rex. Put you on the spot. Who is your Mount Rushmore of Houston Texans? Uh, obviously, Andre Johnson. Okay. J.J. Watt. Okay. Uh, eight, those, two are, uh, those two are easy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Arian Foster has to be on there. All right. One more. Uh, I'm le I'm leaving that one blank right now, Chris. I'm, that that that. Okay. That's I'm leave, I'm leaving that blank. Right. I mean, those three. I think you have to. Uh, but that. I mean, and I I have some players in the back of my mind, but right off the top of my head, I can I can pop them off without what I didn't what I didn't reservations and hesitation. All right, brother Moore. Thank you very much for, for agreeing to pop on with me today on Thursday's edition of the Houston Round Ball Review Takeover. Appreciate it, sir. Don't forget, hey, check check out, hey, look, look, hey, come on, let's model, model the shirts a little bit more. Get, yeah, get yeah. a little close up the, on that. The Houston <laughs> Round Ball Review Media Group, he has three, I have three, and might get to a point where we're like uh, Rock Nation, Fred, your mark. Folks get to a point, they do, they put in the work, and they'll earn a shirt themselves. You might see other colleagues walking around with a Houston Round Ball Review Media Group shirt, but they got to earn it, got to put in that work, youngsters. You got to put in the work. You just ain't going, I'm not going to give it to you. You got to work, work for it, earn it. All right, Brother Moore, thank you very much. We'll keep in touch. I'll talk to you after the show. We'll you do. Take care, sir. Appreciate it. I'm out. Deuces, folks. <laughs>